Right? Now you know what stop talking. Yes, I'm talking about that. And he brought him and his mistress stuff. Keep in mind, this man is a pastor buying plugs and lube. I, I don't, I don't have to do any of that. But you do though, because if I come up there, you're gonna do it. My husband just walked in with his secret girlfriend. All right, hold on, let me go see who's here. Okay, thank you. He messy. He really got that look. I'm here to literally ruin people's day. I'm a problem. I am a problem and I'm starting to realize I'm a problem. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video. Vlogmas day, I don't even know. I'm gonna lose count, but just know y'all gonna be getting these videos. So you know what day it is. You take it as what day it is. My voice is getting better. I'm feeling better. So yes, let's get into it. You know, Christmas, Vlogmas. I'm not a person who, honestly this year I'm not even getting a Christmas tree. I don't want one. Honestly, I want other things rather than to like buy a Christmas tree like girl Christmas is almost over and I started vlogging late because my camera was broken so I'm not even getting a Christmas tree I really don't really want to even sit around and just do Christmas fucking content I know y'all be home for break though which is why I'm giving y'all a lot of content because I know y'all gonna be home not doing nothing like girl you go on my video so that's why I'm here to provide so uh, hopefully all y'all is catching up during y'all little vlogmas or y'all went to break or whatever break y'all got so yeah I will just be making videos that like I guess the theme can be Christmas next year though I'm gonna be a Christmas tree I'm not gonna lie but I'm gonna give me a Christmas tree in November so that I could have the good uh, at least a month on my Christmas tree. Like I thought you supposed to put your Christmas tree up the day after Thanksgiving, and my Christmas tree wouldn't even be up until the tenth anyway. Why even put it up? <laughs> Should I make the coffee really quickly and then come back? Yeah, I'm gonna make coffee really quickly and come back. No, I filmed it on TikTok because I'm in creative mode, but yeah, I made an iced coffee. Here it is. It's with the Chobani. Dude, creeper expire. Lord God, just drink it, Ricky. Mm-hmm. So today I will be calling places because, you know, we're staying on Christmas theme. And I will be prank calling places and telling them my husband dead ass just spent my kid's entire Christmas money on a bitch. He's cheating and he spent our money on that girl. Yeah, let's get into it and ruin a couple of stay. I decided that I will be calling shops first because that's funny not. Let's get into it. Sent off the SOS to my house. That was oh, I was calling. That was God telling me. You dumbass bitch! You're calling from your own number. Oops. I'm nervous. I really hate when some don't answer the phone. Now what if I? Hi, I'm calling because. My husband came in your store two nights ago and made a big purchase of $596. And I was wondering if it's possible for me to get a refund for all the things he brought. I will bring them back in, but he spent all of our all of our kids' Christmas money on a whole bunch of for him and his mistress. So I was just wondering if I can return all the things that he brought. Oh, really? Hello? Who? Hello? Oh, really? I'm gonna call that bitch back. Oh, really? You don't got customer service skills? Don't let me drop the name of your store. You lucky I'm playing, because if I was that serious, you would have been next. Hello, I just called because I was talking to you about a refund and I the line went dead. Is that a refund? Yes. So basically my husband came in your store about um, is he, my husband basically came into your store a couple days ago and he brought stuff with a lady. She was light skinned and I basically will return all the stuff but I need my money back because that was our kids' Christmas money. But, ma'am, this man spent my money on the things that are for my kids. Like, I need to have it. I need to return it. He's, none of it is open. I literally will bring it to you today. I will bring it. I just need to make sure I will get my money back. No, I'm sorry. We don't do exchange in a refund. Yeah, is, like, is there any possible way? Like, I need this money back. I will have to go through my bank. I will dispute it because he brought plugs and all these things like you don't even take back the stuff that's not used like none of it is worn none of it is used that's fine you can call your bank i mean we just 
first thing, just do it. We don't do it like changes or refunds, but our computer won't let us or anything like that. I'm sorry. Your computer doesn't. If you want, we can give you like a gift card or something like that for next time. A gift card? What am I gonna do with a five hundred and ninety-six dollar gift card when my kid doesn't have gifts for Christmas? I was really about to get mad, like I was in the right time. I was let me hang up on her because I, I get it, but like for real though, if someone stole my car, matter of fact, I'm gonna call her back. I'm embarrassed to say, um, I stopped calling her back because I realized, Ricky, you being toxic, like you prank calling, you can't be getting mad for normal society. So I hung up. But I don't want y'all seeing that I got scared. It was like, you know what, let me just leave the people alone. Because I do got morals that I shouldn't have and that I lost later on in the video, but it's okay. Hold on, dance break while this phone right here. Hi, hello, I'm calling. Hello? Hello? I'm calling because I wanted to know if I can return. So basically, a couple nights ago, my husband came in with his mistress and they brought $500 worth of stuff and that money was not his to spend. It was for our kids. And I was wondering if I can come in and return the stuff that he brought. It's not used and none of it is used. I have it all in boxes and bags. I just need my money back and it'll take too long for the banks to investigate for me to get my money back. Hello? Hello? Hi. But you just sat there and let me spill this whole story. Knowing you wasn't looking in the shit I was saying. Run it back. Hi, oh I'm God. calling because my husband came in there a couple nights ago and he basically brought a whole bunch of stuff, like $500 worth of stuff. I'm looking at it, his plugs and dildos and all these things. And none of them are used, but I need to return them because he used my card with my money and that was not his money to spend, it was for our kids. So I just need to return it so that I can get our stuff and our money back. None of it is used. And I tried to go to the bank, but the bank said that it will take too long for them to investigate. Hello? It was five hundred dollars worth of things. What was the transaction? It was made on the twenty, the twenty. He won't tell me specifically when this made, but he took it and he told me he took my cash and paid with his car. We don't have a sale law for November twenty ninth or He don't. He how much? He told me he brought it. Can I just bring the stuff in and return it so that I can get the value that he paid for? He's a liar. I don't know how much he paid for the stuff, but he told me he stole five hundred dollars for my stuff. I'm just assuming he spent it at your shop. I'm in. I'm. I just don't have any extra. I'm going to have him do a call back because this isn't right and none of this is okay. <laughs> I'm about to pretend I'm a Christian woman. I just don't want them to know I'm prank calling them for real because then it's going to not be funny. They're just going to keep hanging up on me. Hello, I'm calling because my husband came in there a couple nights ago with his mistress and used the church's offerings to buy stuff with them and I need that money back so I need to bring in all those things but I need you to know all the stuff that I need to bring in because some of the stuff he didn't pay for my money and some of the stuff he did. I, I don't have time to go through my bank. That was between my Christmas uh, yeah, and that was, well, all of you will go, all of, all of, that is our, that is, that is, that is a, that is a church man. He's a pastor and you're going to hang up on me? Are you, <laughs> oh my God. Them don't play. You can't return a bro. Oh my God, like, bitch. And I'm going to keep calling. Oh, really? I'm gagged because these is really hanging up in my face. Like I'm, I'm just not, I'm not f***ing with that. Hello. Hello, I'm calling because my husband came into your store a couple nights ago and he paid over $500 worth of stuff without my permission with my card and he brought him and his mistress stuff. Keep in mind this man is a pastor buying 
plugs and lube. I don't know where the butt plugs were going unless it was in him or if the lube was for him, but yeah, he was buying all these things. You have, I, to, you have to go back to the store because I, I'm not the store. I will come into the store. I need a refund for everything that he brought purchase because none of this was with my car and the bake is going to take too long. What? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. You have, you, you have to go back to the store because I'm not that store. You're not, I'm not a store. You're not a store? This was the number that they gave online. You go back to the store. I'm telling you. I don't know the store. I need you to tell me the store. It doesn't tell me the store. It just got have just have the number from where my bank said to call the store because that was what the car contract transaction came up as. Go back to the store. What store? I don't know what store you bought from. Do your number on the motherfucking 69 sex store sex toy shop, lingerie shop, and then it what do you mean you don't know what store? So you you both found the 69, right? Now you know what store. Yes, I'm talking about that. My husband is a pastor. He used not only our Christmas, our kids' Christmas money, but he also used our money to go buy him and his little mistress or his little hoochie, his little his little hoochie plugs and those and all these things. I need my money back. That was for my kids' Christmas presents. Oh, uh, I know, I know the store address. You can go to 82, 86 Street. Okay. Sounds good, I'll be up there. And when I get up there, am I gonna be able to get my money? I don't know, you should ask the owner, okay? Where's the owner number? Can you send me his number? I don't have it. Ask the person in the background if they have it. Yeah, please go, go back to the store, okay? <laughs> Welcome to Like A Mobile Voice. You bitches need to pay your phone bill, it's embarrassing. Okay, this is gonna be the last sex shop, and then I'm gonna start bothering people on a day to day in the real life because why not? You know, I cannot. Miss You're Hello, I'm calling because I need to um, start a refund over the phone. I'm sorry, we don't do refunds here, and I can't issue that over the phone either. Okay, well, I need um, a refund for the things because the stuff that was purchased with the card that I made through your thing was not with my authorization. Um. No, my husband came and he used my car to buy him and his mistress whatever the f he brought with them with our kids' Christmas money and it was my money. He took my money and he oh made that transaction. Yes, so I need to get my money back and I cannot come in there. I am a Christian woman and I respect everything you guys do. It's just that no, I... Of course, I'm not, I'm not saying anything against your religion. Um, I'm really sorry. It's just our system physically does not allow us This man, this so man was buying plugs and lube and things. Can I return like the lube? And that's like, it's not open. Thank God I caught him before he even was able to use it on the bitch. But like, I need to like return these things. Like I literally have no, like he spent $500 of our yes. money. Um, Shit. <laughs> no. Let's call this place called Once Upon a Child. Hello, I'm calling because um, I'm suspecting that my husband is about to walk into that store with another lady and her kids and spend our kids' Christmas money with that bitch and her kids. So I need, if he goes to purchase, I need you to give me a call so that I do not authorize the transaction and to let me know that he's there. Oh, she's gonna be on the phone with the big dogs. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm calling because my husband, he is a white man, he's tall, he's bald with a mohawk, and he is about to walk in with a lady I'm assuming is going to be brunette and white as well. I have a feeling that he's going to walk in there soon and purchase um, items for her kids, even though he's using our kids' Christmas money. But nonetheless, I need you to stop that transaction when he comes in and give me a call so that I can come up there and also take my card from him. So, unfortunate, if he had your card, I would honestly maybe call the 
something we can do. Um, unfortunately, I can't really give you a call. I can give you the literally the name on the card and the numbers as well. Like, I just need you to not make that transaction go through. If he swipes that card, I will lose all my kids' Christmas money because he is going to spend it on her kids when our kids need stuff for Christmas. I literally was supposed to come there today and buy stuff for our kids, and yet he takes my card and goes. If I call the bank, they still said he needs to use the card for these things to happen. I tried to lock it, but I don't even know which one he's going to use. I can give you the name on the card so that you can call and you can let me know these just piss me off like can they be interesting that like, they're so boring like hey, one second no when my husband comes in i'm sure your co-workers told you i need you to interfere that transaction so he does not swipe my card because he is going to come in with someone else's family and his mistress and her kids and buy her for her kids with our kids christmas money i need you to interfere the transaction so he does not use my card to purchase things okay they couldn't put a stop payment on the card no they could not no they could they not lock it? no they cannot what kind of card is it a black card You mean what bank am I going through? Is it a credit card? Yes, it is. It's just a whole bunch of stuff going on through the card. It's not his, nor is it his money on the card. This man is a pastor, may I add? We will do our best, but there's no guarantee. If you really want to handle that, you need to call the bank and have us put a stop payment on the card. Just tell him to lock it because you lost your card. Can you just tell him you lost your card? I should try that. Yeah. Okay. Call right now and say, I lost my card, and it can't, I lost my card, and there's going to be a fraudulent transaction. Oh my god, I never even thought about that. I just been in here losing my mind. Thank you so much. I will do that. Give me thank you so much. Alright, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Bitch. <laughs> you should have known. Imagine a card that's not lockable. Thank you for calling Red Lobster. Thank you for choosing Red Lobster. It's Mike speaking. How can I help you? Hi Mike. I'm calling because my husband just walked in with his secret girlfriend or wherever the fuck. And he's sitting there right now and he's going to use my money to pay for their food so i need you to stop him and that fat from using my card to pay today this is my kids christmas money this is not for him to use on biscuits and lobster right right okay um what would he look like, what would he look like? he's a big bald man and he's white and he's with a i'm gonna assume she's fat because he likes them big so yeah she's probably a fat so yeah, it's probably him and a big bitch. All right, hold on, let me go see who's here. Okay, thank you. He messy, he really got on a look. This thing said, hold on, let me go check real quick. <laughs> hold on, you know he rock around there. no bald people here right now. He's he's not there? No. Is, is, is it a, like, no, he's not there. Can you be on the lookout and then just call me if he does? I'll just come myself, if you see him. Yep. Can you give me a call? Tell that when you serve her, tell her she needs to stop eating all those biscuits. Maybe her fat ass would not be so fat. Thank you very much. I know he's like, what is she talking about? Like, thank you for calling Cheesecake Factory. Kelly speaking. How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling because my husband is there right now with his little girlfriend or mistress or whatever the fuck, probably stuffing her face with cheesecake. I just need you to, when he goes to pay, to not use my card because he's a broke ass and he's going to swipe my card with our kids' Christmas money on it to pay for that meal. Oh, I, I'm sorry that's happening to you. Um, I think we should have been holding transfers to one of our managers. Sounds good. Hello, Chris. I'm calling because my husband is currently in your restaurant somewhere with his girlfriend, mistress, whatever, and he is basically about to pay for her meal with our kids' money uh, for Christmas. So I need you, when he goes to pay, to tell him his wife said off and to not go make the transaction go through. I really have no control over that. I don't know who your husband is. I, I can tell you what he looks like. Well, did you call your husband and let him know this? Because well, I mean, I, clear, I, I did I call can't. my husband. Like, of course I called my husband. He's a cheater. He's a liar. Of course he's going to be like, I'm literally at work when I can see his location in the car, air tag in his car at the Cheesecake Factory with his girlfriend. So I need you to probably walk around the restaurant and just give it a quick look and see if he's at least there. Because I can come right there myself. I can come myself. I don't mind coming, but it will be ruckus when I come because I'm going to beat that bitch up. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to like, before I come and disturb your establishment, I need you to just at least give it a quick look, just confirm if he's even there, and then I'll just meet him at his car rather than coming in the restaurant. What's your name? 
My name is Monique. To me? Yep, Monique. Yeah. Oh, Monique. Monique, I'm so sorry about your situation. I really am. Um, so, your husband, what does he look like? He's a white, older man. He has a little short fade and he has brown hair. Um, he's built. He's ugly. <laughs> I know. And his girlfriend, yeah, she's a brunette woman. She's big as fuck. If you could just give me a quick look, they're not hard to miss. Like, they're literally an eyesore, they're a jump scare. So, if you see them, they probably look dirty. I just need to know if you have anybody in that restaurant there because I won't come in. As long as you just confirm to me right now, I will not come in. But I know where he is, and that's why I'm calling the restaurant to either not let the transaction go through because, like I said, he's paying for this food with our kids' money for Christmas. So, before he does that, I understand. Even when it's not his money? I mean, is his name, is his name on the card? No, he don't have no credit. How will his name be on a black card? <laughs> He's a bum. I have no idea. If he, can, is there any possible way where you can just, you could just let people know if anybody pays with the name Monique? It's insane, like, just do not make it go through. Like, it's literally a black card. I, I'm sure it a lot of people in there have a black card, you know? Yeah, I don't know, because Cheesecake Factory would be a little bit expensive. Like, they might just. I know I don't have one. So it's like just a black card, and it just says Monique on it. Monique, you could actually put a freeze on the card if you wanted to. I can't. I can't because he has the bacon app and he could just go ahead and unfreeze it. I, I, I just need, like, honestly, you know what? I'm going to just come here. I'm going to just come over there and I'm going to just. Give me, give me five minutes so I can walk my restaurant, okay? Yep. <laughs> I got the pit again. He really scared as fuck for me to come up there. Yeah, I bet making these people work day harder. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. No, they don't deserve this. No. I'm a hang up. 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 I can't, like, I realize that it's like these people really at work. I feel like I'm doing out a favor because if I was at work and this happened, I would literally be happy. Like, I would be like, oh my God, this is Gaga. Like, <laughs> y'all restaurant probably needed some more excitement. I'm gonna do a hotel, y'all, because I feel like with a hotel is easier. Like, hello, I'm calling because my husband has booked a room with his mistress um, in one of your rooms. I either need you to reverse the payment and tell him go pay with his own money and not use my card or I need the name and the room number so I can come up there myself because he has used for the last couple of nights because he keeps fucking her in those dirty ass hotels when I told him that he already gave him committee anyway. I'm telling you that he's using my kids money to pay for that hotel I need you to give me my money back and tell him to figure it out unfortunately it's not doing anything I can't give out any kind of information like that well, he's paying with my card, so if he's paying with my card, I feel like I should know the information. Um, I can't verify any of that. I can come up there myself. I don't mind, but when I come up there myself, I'm going to beat him and her up. So you just let me know. I know he's there. I literally have an air tag in his car, and he's parked outside right now. So all I need is for you to either take it off my card, or I'm going to come up there and beat him and her up, and I'm going to cause a scene. You can, you can call the Call the police on my husband when you can just refer the payment. That it doesn't work like that. Why doesn't it work like that? It's not his car. I mean, that it has nothing. To, what your personal matters has nothing to do with me or his business. You're saying my personal matters? Yes, it is. You the one who made the authorization go through. You knew that that card did not match his name when he gave his ID. Why would you let the transaction go through? Yes, it is your fault. No. What do you mean, though? Yes. Yes. Why are you trying to argue with me as if you aren't the one who made the card go through? You could call, call the police and... I'm not calling the police when you're the one who did it and made it go through. How about when you reverse the payment, you give me, you call the police and you give Sorry. your money back. I, I, don't, I don't have to do any of that. But you do though, because if I come through, you're going to do it. How much you want to bet? Then, if you want to call the police, you can go ahead. I'll be up there. No problem. That was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't did a prank call video in a minute. I am officially done with today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I will see y'all in the next one. Woo child, Vlogmas is taking the freak over. I have two or three videos done so far. So yay, I'm ahead. Uh-huh. Adios. Bye.